Good afternoon, people. I've been noticing since I started using cocoa that it takes me about two months of uh, watering the plants, flushing, watering and flushing for the water to come out clear, to come out the way I, I feed it. So on this time, I'm gonna transplant from my little room to the 10 gallon pots, but I thought of using the, the washing machine, but I have this machine here that belongs to my wife. That's a cement mixer, and that's what she uses here to mix all her stuff for her plants. See that? I have, I have a few of these containers with just cocoa. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put water in there and then take the water off, put some more water in there, water off. When I see the water coming out clean, then I'm gonna put in there the water pH. That I'm gonna do it at uh, 4.0 pH this time on the last watch. And I'm gonna do this till the water comes clean. That way I don't have to waste a lot of water in, in two months of watering. Uh, this is gonna be a fun project. And I think it's gonna work because I noticed that the plants struggle at the beginning until they establish bigger roots to get there. And that's because of this. The water comes out real red, real high in PMs, and real high in parts per million. This time I'm gonna wash it till it's clean before it goes in there. I thought about the washing machine, but my wife said, oh, hell no. All right, people, stay tuned. I'm gonna do this and it's gonna take me probably all day to get it clean, so I'm not gonna do a big video, but you get the point. It's gonna be water, water, water in there. And the last water I throw in there, I'm gonna throw in there the perlite. I know Francesca said cocoa on itself was better, but my plants didn't like to be just in cocoa, so I'm, I'm gonna be throwing in there perlite. All right, people, that's all I have to say. Adios.